All right, gonna show you something very wicked that comes from a, once again the charismatic cult known as Bethel Church. Now this is again the, the corrupt fruit that comes from this wicked demonic charismatic movement. And this time you have a Bethel female pastor saying that Jesus quote laid in bed with her and started to play with her hair. I mean that that is just sick and perverted. But again, this is the fruit that comes from this charismatic movement. This is the kind of sick perversion. There is another video I did where this charismatic false prophet compared the Holy Ghost to a pooping dog. This is the kind of blasphemy that comes from this charismatic movement. They are blaspheming the Holy Ghost. They claim that you don't accept their phony gifts of the Spirit, their demonic counterfeit gifts of the Spirit, that you're blaspheming the Holy Ghost. They're actually the ones who are blaspheming the Holy Ghost, and this is proof of that. Uh, Bethel Pastrix, Jesus, quote, laid in, the, in that bed with me and started to play with my hair. And this is her right there. Now, what does uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 say about female pastors? There are no such thing as female pastors. Sorry, 1 Timothy chapter 2. Let me go to the scripture real quick. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. There is no such thing as a female pastor. Okay? That's that's not scriptural. Okay, Second Timothy, sorry, First Timothy, chapter three, verses one to seven says the bishop is the husband of one wife, never the wife. It's only the husband of one wife. The bishop is the man, not there is no female bishops. But gonna show some scripture. Sorry, I already said scripture. You're gonna show the article I meant to say. This is from Protestia.com. Bethel Past Bethel Patrick's because there is no such thing as woman pastors claims she had a radical encounter with Jesus that resulted in her being healing of mental illness, psychosis, and suicide. One uh, that involved the Lord of Glory slithering up next to her in bed and playing with her hair, running his fingers through it, his fingertips li uh, lightly scra uh, scra scrapping her scalp with his whispered sweet deliverances. Jenna uh, Wils Wilson Winson is a pastorix at Bethel Church at Bethel in California, is a proprietor of Heartscaping Ministry. Her testimony is that she was di is a diagnosed schizophrenic who spent the first 40 years of her life going through a psych ward's psych ward holds and multiple abuses, mental illness diagnoses, extreme drug addictions, and suicide attempts before winding up at a faith-based recovery program where she claims to have had a have to claims to have a radical encounter with Jesus that forever changed her trajectory of her life. Finding freedom from her demons, she calls herself a seer, pro seer prophet and does counseling through her heartscape and ministry and specializes in inner healing, prophetic deliverance, identifying and cultivating your spiritual gifts and restoring your full identity. Kind of sounds like the Hindu occult uh, kundalini spirit type thing. These people are Luciferians. They are, they are occultic Luciferians. That's what these charis this charismatic movement is. One distinctive is that unlike most people shilling their wares, she is unusually upscale in terms of price, with a typical course video being $129. Uh, and the article, and they publish a video in Reformation Charlotte. But this is the type of fruit that comes from this wicked charismatic movement. So this is, this is what she said. This is her encounter. Uh, not long after I ended up having um, this encounter, well, no, I ended up having what I know to be a natural deliverance, okay? This is what she said. Uh, so much Jesus was I was going in and all of a sudden until it me it felt like I got connected to all of this rage and I started screaming and yelling and cussing and throwing stuff yeah and now I know it was actually demons leaving and she says Jesus walked in there and laid in that bed with me and started to play with my hair I mean that that is just sick and perverted that she says right there but again, this is the kind of wicked perversion that comes from this demonic charismatic movement, this demonic charismatic cult known as Bethel Church and most charismatic cults out there. See, the charismatic movement, it does not follow, does not operate according to the holy word of God. They operate according to their, their feelings and traditions that contradict this word right here. You see, they are nothing more than just Roman Catholics, essentially. They follow their pagan traditions and their and the pagan roots of their counterfeit gifts are very, very well documented in scripture and also in historical records of the Catholic Church, too. Their pagan uh, counterfeit spiritual gifts. But this is the wicked corrupt fruit from the charismatic movement. Uh, let me show one last scripture on the subject of uh, female, so-called female teachers on why that is not a scriptural concept. First Corinthians chapter 14 verses verses 34 to 35 
Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Now what's that what's that referring to when it says also saith the law? It's referring back to Numbers chapter thirty, verses three to thirteen. You can read that. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. And if they'll learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women for women to speak in the church. So, women are not supposed to speak and teach in the church. They're, not, they're supposed to be under subjection, and if they have any questions, to ask their husbands at home. There is no such thing as a female pastor, but the charismatic movement has set aside the word of God for their man-made traditions. So, obviously, they're going to have female pastors. So anyway, don't be deceived by this wicked, demonic, charismatic movement. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.